Hello, good evening. <coughs> Miss Sandoval, good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are, How are you? you? <laughs> I'm fine. And you? How are you doing? I'm very happy. You're very happy? Oh, that's good. Well, hey. that's good. I, I am. Uh -huh. ya, ya terminé. You, you, you already finished all the old exercises. That's good. Nice. So um, that's mean that you have to attend just to the video conference and then you can ask for the certification. Can you hear me? No, that's it. But the certification, mm, no. Only feeding the platform, but the okay, yes, for that reason, that's what I'm telling you. Um, after you finish the whole exercise, and then uh, you have to attend to the whole video conference. Uh, after that, you are going to ask for your certification. Okay, after that. After attending, can, can you hear me? Hello, welcome, Miss Molina. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? So let's see. Um, let me share to, with you the presentation that we are going to be uh, working. Uh, give me a second. Okay, I will stop the, the video. Okay, we're going to wait just two minutes more and then we are going to start, okay? Um, right now we'll share the presentation, the PPT. Um, this is, well, this is the topic that we're going to be discussing in this class, okay? Questions and intonation, up or down. We're going to see how they work, uh, but we're going to wait for the rest of your classmate. It's supposed that they will be here at eight o'clock. But tell me, how are you doing? Have you been working? Or are you working from home? Miss Molina, Miss Sandoval, Mr. Torres. Good evening, teacher. Nice. Hi, good evening. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, how are you doing? Have you been working? Actually, just arriving. <laughs> was oh, a hard okay. day. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. I'm here. I'm where, where do you work? Uh, 
Can you repeat? I can't hear you. Uh, where do you work? I work of my own. I'm an engineer and my brother too. Oh, and we nice. work in electric electrical project. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, nice. Yes. Amazing. So that's good. Uh, let's see, Miss... Miss Lopez. Hello. Well, uh, we're going to start with a um, with a conference with a video class for today because uh, there is eight o'clock. It is eight o'clock. I mean. So uh, the objective that we're going to be um, to be working today says. Uh, in this class, participants will learn how to make the proper rising and falling intonation in questions of choice. Okay, uh, that's the aim of the objectives. Um, we are going to see uh, some characteristic about some sentences when they are rising, when they are falling, and after that, after uh, we have discussed. Uh, all those terms, we are going to go through the equations of choice. They are uh, rising or falling. Or falling I mean. Let's see, this is the, um, the topic for today. Questions and intonations, up or down, okay? Up or down. Um, oh, I was missing something. Before starting the class, before going through, uh, I want you to tell me if you uh, have been working in the platform. Have you uh, been checking the exercise? Do you have any problem with the exercises? Or um, you haven't completed any of the exercise there? Okay, me, me Sandoval. Uh, she already finished the, the whole course in, in the platform, okay? Uh, and that's good. She is going to be just attending in the, the, the video conference during the rest of this, of this course. Okay, let's see. I, I will ask one by one. Um, Ms. Molina. Ms. Molina. Do you already, ha, have you been working in the platform? Have you been Yes, working? some problem with uh, uh, some uh, sentence. Okay. Sentences for the sentences, for example, the didn't the yesterday um, didn't make, and when you put in, in a platform, the same, uh, the problem is grown by I working. Okay, okay, okay. So um, we're checking that. We're checking uh, those problems that we have on the platform. Um, and I hope that uh, they can be solved soon. Uh, thank you, Miss. Let's see, Mr. Torres, Torres Amaya. I've been working in the check. Okay, very good. Yeah. Which section? Working. Which section? In the section 2.2. 2, okay, very good. That's good. Thank you. I finished the section today. Oh, nice. That's great. Uh, let's see, Miss Lopez. Miss Lopez? I still are in section number one. I didn't work. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Between tonight and Friday, I guess, I go to section three. Okay, okay. Uh, tell me, do you listen to me uh, 
in a good way or uh, there are like um, like a freeze uh, screen in your in your computer. I'm talking about the uh, about my video. Is it freeze? Yes or no? Can you listen to me in a good way? No. No. Okay. Let me oh. let me uh, let me see what is happening, and I will try to solve it. If you listen to me in a good way, if you're listening to me um, uh, fluently, or there are some like um, there are some hey, like teacher. Uh, it sound, sounds like a delay in your voice. Uh, delayed. Uh, okay, very good. Thank you, Corey. Uh, thank you. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for telling me because I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to solve uh, that problem right now because I have some notifications here in my window. Uh, let me see what is happening here. Okay, um, I did some changes to my internet. Let's see if it worked well. Uh, let me know if you don't listen, okay? Or if there is uh, some, some phrases in there in the video, okay? Uh, let me share to you the presentations here. Okay, here we have the question. I mean, the, the topic. Uh, questions and intonation, up or down? Okay, that's the topic that we're going to be discussing. And first of all, we are going to see um, what is the meaning of intonation? Or what is intonation? Uh, Let's see, here we have a definition that it says, intonation and stress are closely linked. In fact, it's impossible to the, the, dissociate them. They go hand in hand. Intonation is about how we say things, okay? Rather than what we say. The way the voice rise and fall when speaking in other words, the music of the language, okay? If we notice in this uh, small definition that we have here, this information, it says that there are two things that we have in, 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 in a language, okay? The first one is intonation, and the second one is stress. The first one, intonation, um, refers how we say things, okay? How we uh, express the things when we're talking. Stress, um, in the other hand, is um, what we say while speaking, but know the meaning, okay? Know what is in the in the sentence. It is ref it refers to um, the way we pronounce the words in a specific. For instance, how do you pronounce 
uh, comfortable, okay? How do you pronounce um, uh, produce? Words like that, okay? Uh, to let you an example about this, sometimes in some, uh, a common mistake in pronunciation uh, could be like uh, the word, something that is, um, let me see, let me think, something that is um, a, uh, one of the mistakes in basic students in, 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 in levels like uh, basic one, basic two, uh, there is a problem with the word uh, objective, okay? Sometimes uh, when we're uh, starting in, in uh, beginning to learn English, we say objective, okay? Objective, instead of saying objective, okay? If we notice, there is a, a, there is a difference while pronouncing that word, objective, objective, okay? So, uh, the word objective, uh, let me write here in the, in the whiteboard, I will change it. The whiteboard here. Okay, check out this word. Objective and Okay, sometimes in basic level, there is a mistake with the stress of this word. Sometimes the, the, the stress can be like objective or objective. What do you think is the correct one? Objective or objective? Which one is the correct one? Objective. 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 Okay. Objectives. That's the correct form of um, of pronounce that. The the in the the stress. Okay. The the main force of what, what, what we are pronouncing the word is called stress. This stress. Okay. This stress is hand by hand with intonation. We're going to see that in a moment. I will uh, go for my uh, for charger because uh, my battery is low. It's less than 20%. Uh, give me just uh, 30 seconds and I will be back, okay? Okay, I'm here again. So we're discussing this. Uh, this is what we call stress. But when we have a sentence, okay, when we have a sentence, if we have a lot of words there. And for instance, we can have a sentence that is composed by the subject plus the verb plus an object. Okay, there are a lot of uh, words there. That sentence, the way how we say, okay, the way we how we pronounce that sentence, the complete sentence, it's called um, a rising or fall. And let me stop this and share to you the presentation here. Okay, it's called rising or fall. That those risings and falls are called to intonation, okay? Intonation, intonation, as we uh, as we see in the definition in this slide, it says that is how we say things, how we say it, okay? Uh, to to give you an example, okay? 
it's not the same the same to say um eh, I work in a bank okay I work in a bank eh, compare with do I work in a bank do I work in a bank okay if we notice the um, in the first sentence I work in a bank um, we say in, in the sentence we have arising okay I work in a bank okay when we have a question we say eh, do I work in a bank it's like a falling in, in the pronunciation we're going to see that in the following examples um, let's go to the following slide eh, Mr. Ramirez can you help me to read the information of this slide, please? Excuse me. The, I Can you know. read the information that we have in this slide? Just as work have a stress and syllabus, pattern of stress words. In addition, the voice tend to rise all or remain or feeling we want to come come surprise and your interest intonation therefore indicates the mood of the speaker okay thank you so if we relate the word intonation uh, with the way how we say things uh, we refer, uh, for instance, how we say something when we are surprised. How we say something, how do you say something when you are anger? Uh, how do you say something when you are interested in something? Okay, when you are bored or when you have gratitude with uh, someone else. Um, something important that you make in you, you have to take note of this. Intonation indicates the mood, okay? Something important here. Indicates the mood, okay, of the speaker. Let's go to the following. In intonations, we have two basic pattern, and the, those are called uh, falling intonation and rising intonation and there are two symbols that we can use to identify when uh, we have a falling intonation and when we have a rising intonation this one the one what, that we have here this is used uh, when we have a falling intonation this indicates a full um, in speaking, in, in speaking intonation. This row here indicates a rise intonation, okay? Or, or a rising intonation. We're going to see here in, in some examples and how we use those uh, symbols to identify uh, when we have a rising and when we have a falling. But something that we have to um, remember is that there are no rules, okay? There are no rules to use falling and rising, okay? Why? Because the falling and rising depends on the mood that the speaker has, okay? Because um, if you're anger, you're going to say things, maybe. Um, uh, you can pronounce things like uh, so strong, okay? If you are happy, you are going to say things in a, in a good way and also calm. Uh, we have to remember that the content words are stress. This is the other word that we were discussing, okay? Stress. And this is the in stress depend of the good um, pronunciations that we have for sentences. Uh, I mean for words. 
And intonation is the attitude, the emotions that we have for uh, expressing something, okay? Um, this explanation, intonation, is intended to serve as a general guide to help learning. Those two, this one and this one, okay? So, and then we have uh, next information there. Let's go to the following. When we have a rising intonation, okay? And, and let's see what is rising intonation. It says that uh, the pitch of the voice falls at the end, okay, of the sentence. This is when we have a, a, a falling intonation. If we make a symbol in a sentence, we're going to use uh, something like, falling at the end, okay? This can be represented as a falling in, uh, in, in a sentence, falling, okay? Falling. Let's see what is falling. Uh, if we read this, this uh, sentence, the, the whole sentence here, we have nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So there is a fall in there. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. This is represented in like, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. She doesn't live here anymore. Okay. She doesn't live here anymore. Okay. That wants to change his car. That want to change his car. Okay, there is a falling intonation. Uh, Mr. Let's see. Mr. Herrera. Can you read this sentence, please? You're not there. Let's see. Uh, Gabriela? Is the weather forecast? Okay. Here is the weather forecast. Okay. It's falling. All the sentences that we have there are falling because we start in a line and then the intonations fall. Okay. The intonations fall. But we're going to uh, check more extra information about, about it, okay? Well, we have a question, a WH question, that um, it's for requesting information. Sometimes we use the following intonation. For instance, we have the first example here that says, what country do you come from? What country do you come from? Okay, that is a falling intonation. Where do you work? Okay, where do you work? Falling intonation. Which of them do you prefer? When does the shop open? Okay, how many books have you bought? Which coat is yours? Whose back is this? All dents are falling. Okay. And uh, as I told you, we use falling intonation just when we are requesting information. And how we request information using the WH questions. Who? Okay. What? Why? Where? When? Which? And how? All those, all those words are WH questions. The WH questions are usually to ask information or to request information about something. Then we have the rising intonation. Okay, the rising the intonation. It's the pitch of the voice that tries at the end of the sentence. This is a rising. Instead of going falling, 
we have a sentence that at the end, it tries in the intonation. It says, raising intonations invites the speaker to continue talking, okay? So that's the purpose of rising intonation. Teacher. Tell me. I don't know if just is my interview. Well. You are not listening? No. Okay. Uh, I have a problem here. It says that. Uh, my internet is my internet is unstable, but I don't know uh, about the rest. Can but, you listen, or it's just in? Uh, yes, I think that. Okay. No, be because I you know. Okay. Okay. No good. Don't listen. It, it's not working well, right? Uh, okay. Teacher. Tell me. Excuse me, uh, you are recording. Did yes, I'm recording. Uh, send us the link, please, for uh, listen again, please. Okay, very good. I will try to do something. I will start uh, sharing my my uh, my webcam. Maybe in that way, I can have a I can have a good internet, and I can share just the audio, and then I will be sharing the presentation. Also, I will be uh, sharing with you the video later that's going to be in YouTube. So um, then you can check, okay? Um, let's see, can you, can, you, can you hear me now? Because I stopped the, my, my webcam. Yes. I, I, is it better? Now, yes. Yes, it's better. Okay. Very good, very good. So I was telling you, um, rising intonation. Okay, when we use rising intonation, it's because uh, we want to invite the speaker or the the, the person um, you know, the person that is talking with us. Um, in in also, if you want um, to use or to ask for short questions. Okay, in this case, the short questions are like, yes, no question, okay? Uh, it is commonly used in this uh, type of situation. Let's see how it works in, uh, in sentences. We have, I have one, some of the example here. It is questions that can be answered by yes or not, like for instance, do you like the new T-shirt? This one uh, is it is asking for yes or not. But the the intonation of this sentence, do you like the new T-shirt? It's rising intonation. If I um, have a a, a a line here. Okay, a row, I can represent it uh, like this. Do you like the new t-shirt? Okay, have you finished already? Uh, do you have any magazine? Okay, do you sell stamps? All those sentences have a rising intonation, all of them have a rising at the end of the sentence. In, um, as I told you, this one, the rising intonation, are used for yes and no question, okay? Um, then we have question tags that show uncertainty and, and, and require an answer. They, this is also called um, um, real questions. Okay, because um, it is asking for information, not yes or not. In this case, it's asking for uh, information. For instance, do you like fish? Don't you? Okay. 
if we graphic that, it will be like, you like fish, don't you? Okay, this don't, don't, and then you, there is the rising. You, don't, you, okay. You are new students, aren't you? The view is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so we saw, uh, we're going to, to uh, make a feedback here. We saw that in falling intonation, um, we have sentence or open sentences uh, that we can use for asking information. And for asking information, uh, we have the WH questions. All of them can be used with um, falling intonation, okay? In the case of the questions that need a yes or not as an answer, those are going to be used as a falling intonation. We're going to see more examples in uh, this video. Please pay attention and then we're going to discuss about this video, okay? Let me know if you can uh, hear the audio. If not, I will share with you um, the link. Well, in this case, because the, my internet is not working well, I will share with you the, the, the link and you can uh, watch the video and then we're going to discuss. Uh, I will spam the, in the, the link there. Just give me a second. It's much, much better. Let me go to the chat. Okay, it's here. There you have the link. Okay, watch the, the, the video and then we're going to discuss. You have, you have just a, one minute to watch it. And after that, let me know that you already finished. Finish, finish. Okay, thank you. Finish. Very good. Finish. Well, for the rest. Okay, very good. You already finished uh, watching the video. So let's see. This is a, a third option that we have for using a falling and rising. We already know how a rising work and we already know how falling work. The, now, after you uh, watch the video, you know a uh, third possibility, okay? Or the possibility number three, that is using the rising 
and falling at the same at the same time. But um, according to the information that we have in that video, I want you to tell me uh, what do you understand and what is the information that you uh, catch from the video. Uh, let me know. You can use the, your microphone or you can uh, just type your answer in the chat of this video class, okay? I don't hear well the question. Okay, the question is, if you can explain me uh, what is the option number three about rising and falling? We, all, we already saw that we have rising in some sentence, we have falling in some sentence, but there is a third option, okay? Or the option number three. Uh, I want you to tell me what do you watch in the video? What was the information that was shared there? Okay, thank you. What is Basically, the topic? Uh -huh. In the sentence number three, would you prefer the violin? In option number one, we go say the voice is the song, but the end to finish the question, the song of okay, okay, that very is good. what I understand. Okay, very good, very good, thank you. Um, let's see. As we saw in the video, there is a part that it says rising and falling uh, questions of choice. In the uh, second, okay, in the second uh, 35, you can see a pronunciation. It says pronunciation, intonation in questions of choice. Okay, that is uh, a different part of or the option number three of intonation. What happened there? I will use a word, white word. Uh, let me see. What happened here? We have the sentence. Uh, give me a second. I will share with you the white word there. I will clean, clean all drawings. And then we're going to check. This sentence. This is a yeah, sentence. The, the third option. Okay, tell me. I think that uh, when you yeah. have two options, when you give two options to choice. The... Okay, exactly. Uh, that's I that's the, the option number three. Okay, both. that's the option number three. Uh, first, we have a, a rising in sentence. Okay, the first option of using of using rising and falling. Okay, is when we uh, ask for information. Okay, or we ask for a specific information, and we use the wh question. There, we use falling. Okay, where do you work, for instance? Okay. Just to share in uh, the third question or sentences is, is or, or piano. Uh, the saying is that the guitar is up, our piano is down. Exactly, okay. Do you, play, if you use the, the, the same sentence, do you play guitar or piano? Okay, so we're going to see um, the sentence that you have in the platform and it says- Sorry, or the violin. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Can you see this sentence? You have this sentence in your platform. It says, what you prefer. 
a course in exercise a science or nutritional science? What is the answer here? We're going to start with the with the with the answer for the verb. Okay. What is the correct answer here? What could be a verb that we can use there? Nobody? Take, the infinity, the, is to take. To take, let's see. Are you sure? Uh -huh. To take, in this way, you mean to take. We're going to change it to a different code there in that way. Okay, are you sure about it? Yes or not? This is the correct answer, yes or not? Yes. Yes, okay, yes, it is. Would you prefer to take a course, check it, check it out, this, a course in exercise, in science, or nutritional science, okay? If we notice there, when we have a sentence like this, at the beginning, we have a falling intonation, okay? This is a falling intonation. And the second option that we have here, it's a rising intonation, okay? Why we are using both there, okay? Why we are using both there? We're using both because this is a questions of choice, okay? When we use questions of choice, we are going to use both. The first one that is going to be falling intonation and the second one that's going to be rising intonation. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. Tell me. In this case, because the ask is a question. Okay, yes, this is a question. Uh, you mean, what happened if, if uh, I use the whole question or what? What do you want to know, Miss Sandor? See, um, he only asks uh, uh, what is the intonation? What is the intonation? Okay, the intonation is, uh -huh. is the way how you pronounce or how you express something in a sentence, okay? How you express it. Imagine that uh, you are saying something uh, to your partner and you say, uh, do you want to take coffee? Okay, do you want to take coffee? Yes, I do. This is, like okay, it. check it out this. Because this is a question of yes or not, the whole sentence is going to be a rising intonation because you are asking if uh, he wants or not. You are just uh, asking for a short answer, okay? But when you use the WH questions, uh, that it's for asking. Uh, uh, see? This Tell me. Soon. I can hear you, Miss Adobal. Can you repeat it again? Uh, in comparison, or because uh, is conditional, uh, rather. Rather, you mean rather, which one? In this sentence, th this sentence, the ones that we're using. Mm -hmm. Teacher, Tell me. I think that uh, sentences is like a, a comparison. 
but in my opinion, the is the the one sentence. But to option of the like it, the person like it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Yes. Uh, for that reason, we're using both uh, falling and rising because we have two options. Okay. We have those two options. Uh, if we have just uh, questions for uh, for a specific um, information that you want to ask or you request to someone, for instance, where do you work? If I ask you, Miss Molina, where do you work? The whole sentence is rising, okay? Because um, that's the, the, the structure of the sentence. Where do you work? It is a rising, okay? Rising intonation. If I ask to, uh, for instance, um, Miss Garcia, um, do you work on Sunday? Okay, do you work on Sunday? That is a falling intonation, okay? Um, because in this case, it's asking for a short answer, okay? Yes or not? Yes. So yes, when we have a question, when we have a question, this is the, 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 the third part, okay? Or the part number three. When we have a question, when there, there is, um, uh, there are, I mean, two options. If we have two options, in this case, we are going to use both falling and rising, okay? Falling and rising. Uh, is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, please. Yes, for me, so clear. Okay. Sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, so let's see. We're going to check some of the exercise that you have in the platform right now. I will share to you. Uh, I will create Drew's, I mean, let's see. Three, four, how many are you? I will stop this. I want to check how many of you are connected. Uh, we are, we are 14, okay? We are 14. What we're going to do is work in trios. We're going to work in trios and um, and then you are going to come here and you're going to tell me what is the answer of those exercise that I will let you in the chat of this of the video conference. Just give me a second. I will uh, I will share with you the all information. because you are missing the sentence number two and the rest. Okay, let me see. Here we go. Please go to the, go to the chat there. Okay, can you see the chat? It is composed by a, a 1A, 1B, okay? 1A, 1B. I mean, 2A, 2B. 3A, 3B, and 4A, and 4B. Uh, what you're going to do is take just two examples, just two, no more than that, just two. You are going to work with your uh, classmates and then you are going to come here and you're going to tell me the correct answer for those questions. And also you are going to identify if, this, if the sentence has a rising intonation or falling intonation of if those sentence has both rising and falling. You are going to do that right now. And uh, I will be checking uh, the group of uh, the group words um, there. 
If you have any question, please go to the bottom that it says uh, ask for help and I'll, I'll be there, okay? Let me start okay. this. Breakout rooms, going to do four. There, please accept the, the, the notification that you have in your computer or cell phone. Enjoy to the rooms that you have there. Please join each of the groups there. And I will be and I will I'll be visiting you. in its sources, science or nutrition, nutritional science, to, prefer, to take, to take a course, yes. would you prefer to take a course? Okay. Okay. Uh, Two, two sentences and I take King natural answer and is I try to identify is that uh, intonation is uh, it is okay. Who is I start. You, you first. I start, I first. The number one is that would you prefer to take a course in exercise science or science? Um, the science. Yes, to take. If you want, I can copy sentences in the chat. Our time will be finished and we don't do anything. Hello, are you there? Sure. Hello, how are you? Um, do you work on the exercises? Hello, Miss Lopez. I can hear you, teacher. Um, do you work on the exercises? Excuse me? Uh, do you work oh. in the exercises? Um, uh, let me see. Let's see. We are working. You're working? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. So I will go to the room number four. I think the same. The second, would you rather learn English in Australia or Canada? It's a rise. Tell me. Red. Would you rather learn English in Canada? 
I think he's falling too. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit difficult to identify. Yes, I never think it's difficult. <laughs> yes, just fluent. <laughs> yes. Learn English in Australia or Canada. I'm falling, I guess. I think that. Oh, teacher is here. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, I'm here. I was checking if you were working. <gasps> Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Working very hard. Okay, that's great. Amazing. So, so, try to understand. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions for me about this? Working very hard. <laughs> okay. We think that question number have a falling intonation. Which, which number you said? Sorry, I didn't listen. Two. Ah, number two. Very Eight. good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see, uh, let me check. Okay, the question number two, it says, would you rather English in Australia or Canada? Okay, would you rather English in Australia or Learn. Canada? Okay. In this case, it's learned, okay? Would you rather learn English in Australia mm -hmm. or Canada? What do you think? It's a falling, mm -hmm. it's rising, or uh, it's both? Is it falling? Is it rising? Or is it both? What do you think? It's fault. Fault. Okay. Let me tell you something. When we have a questions that have the uh, two options, okay. In this case, two options. Oh, there is a choice in in a sentence. We are going to use falling, and we are going to use rising. We are going to use both. Okay. What is the, uh, the, the choice here? Okay, pay attention. English in Australia or Canada? Okay, we are asking someone. For instance, uh, Miss, Miss Lopez, would you rather uh, yes. learn English in Australia or Canada? What could be your answer? But in that case, uh, falling is the first, and as, okay. or is interchange. The, the first one, but in this case, mm -hmm. uh, English in, in Australia, okay, in Australia, that one is a rising intonation. Pay attention to this. Would you rather learn English in Australia, rising, okay, or Canada, falling, okay, mm -hmm. Australia or Canada? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to, to go to the to principal uh, room, to the video class, and then we're going to uh, share okay. your answers, okay? Uh, let's see, close all rooms. Okay, thank you. Hello, welcome to everybody again. Um, well, we're going to check um, two 
um, exercises and it's going to be, uh, let's see, well, you're going to decide who is going to participate. If you want to participate, just let me know and um, I will give you the, the, the space to speak with the microphone. Okay, let me know who is going to do it. The first sentence. Okay, Miss. Uh, me, uh, okay, Mr. Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez, you are raising your hand. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Hello, are you there? Of uh, course, in that. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Um, tell me, the which sentence uh, do you choose? Number two, three, or four? Would you rather? Uh, I I rather join orchestra. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um Thank you, teacher. Okay. The question it says, would you rather join choir or an orchestra. Okay, there we have both. We have rising and we have um, falling. Why? Why we have both there? Because you are asking for options. Okay, you are asking. Um, you are asking someone uh, to do a choice, okay? Do you uh, rather, in this case, in, in, in the sentence number, number four, would you rather join a short or an orchestra? So the person uh, that you're asking is going to say, uh, I, um, I'd rather choir or an orchestra, or if he likes a choir or an orchestra, he's going to say one of them. Okay, all those sentences have rising and falling. Okay, all those, not the, the, the four sentences. So, uh, in this case of the sentence, choir, uh, I mean, choir, it's a rising intonation, and orchestra. Um, it's a falling intonation. The same happened with the rest of the sentences uh, that, we, that you already uh, complete in this exercise. Now you are able to answer the, the, this exercise in the platform and you remember that you have to uh, identify the word that correspond to the blank space that you have there. And um, that has been hope for today. Let me know if you have any question right now. Um, do you have any question? No. Any? No, thanks. Okay. Okay, very good. Well, um, so that's we you know for today. I hope to see you. Tomorrow, remember that you have to connect to the whole um, uh, video conference because you must complete the 80% of this course and then you're going to have your certifications. If you do not attend to the 80% of the videos, even though if you had complete the exercise in the, in the platform, you won't get the certification. So please don't miss any of this uh, video conference, okay?
Very true. Okay. 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 Uh, I have a problem with the with platform. With the platform, what happened? Yeah, uh, five point eight. But uh, I I will send the. Okay, send me send me send me what is the problem through the group of WhatsApp, and I will be answering you there. Okay. Uh, send me an, a screenshot uh, of the of that problem, and I will help you there. All right. Thank you. Okay, very good. So, uh, see you tomorrow. Have a nice night and blessings for all of you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.